Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm doing just a quick video on the laptop today. Hopefully I'll have this up by tomorrow. Um, I just wanted to touch on a pretty cool subject that no one's really talking about, and that's that Paul McCartney is writing his very first musical and all of the music to it. It's a pretty big deal. Um, my initial reaction is that maybe this is the route to go now, that he's, you know, 77 years old and, you know, start making music and writing writing music for plays and you know but I have some information on it on my phone here from his website I was going to share with you it says today Paul confirms a career first he's working on a musical stage adaption to one of the most iconic films in cinema history Frank Capra's It's a Wonderful Life released in 1946 originally uh, he's partnered with British theater and film Bill Kinwright who will produce the show Bill originally approached Paul three years ago after acquiring the rights to the much loved film that over seven decades that over seven decades since its original release continues to be a primetime must for television audiences all around the world. Paul and Bill enjoy a lifetime's connection, having both been born and raised in Liverpool and both attended the Liverpool Institute High School, now LIPA, Paul's Liverpool Institute of Performing Arts. The acclaimed performing arts Academy founded by Paul. In addition to writing the music, Paul has been working on the lyrics with Tony Award winning English screen and playwriter Lee Hall, who is also responsible for the book of the musical. As a child, Paul inherited a love of Broadway and show tunes from his father Jim, who would perform at home on the family piano on every occasion possible, and this influence would eventually spread into Paul's own songwriting and diverse compositions, which we talked about. Uh, speaking about this news, Paul says, like many of these things, this all started with an email. Bill had asked if, I, if it was something I might be up for. Writing a musical is not something that had ever really appealed to me, but Bill and I met up with Lee Hall and had a chat, and I found myself thinking this could be interesting and fun. It's a Wonderful Life is a universal story we can all relate to. Okay, so the director, Bill Kinwright, said, Working with Paul on It's a Wonderful Life is a dream realized. To be honest, I was hooked on the first hearing him on first hearing him say one, two, three, four on the demo of the opening number. But since then it's been an extraordinary journey. On every song I experience Paul's unique gift of melody and composition. It's musical theater, but it's always McCartney. Paul, Lee, and I use the word cherish when we refer to our so source material. That's what we, and that's what we intend to do. Cherish Frank Capra's connection. So, this is going to be awesome. I think this is going to be really cool. Um, I, you know, who doesn't love It's a Wonderful Life? It's a beautiful story about a man who's, you know, literally down on his luck and about to basically, you know, kill himself. And, you know, I, his guardian angel comes and saves him and shows him what true life really is, uh, what his life's really worth. I mean, everybody, you know, loves that message. It's a beautiful message. And that Paul McCartney, the greatest songwriter of all time, is writing the music for it. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Let's see. It says, Paul, who has written some of the world's most loved, celebrated, and enduring music, has musically realized the emotional story of a man down on his luck, George Bailey, unaware of all the lives he has touched and how different his community would be had he never been born. George is close to suicide, however, he is saved by the intervention of a guardian angel, and of course, as in all feel-good but resonant movies, George realizes the true value of his life. Some 70 years since the release of the film, the story still remains relevant today, probably even more so, as a reminder to cherish family, friends, and the life you have something Paul has always strived to do in his own life and work. Um, so what I'm wondering, obviously I hope this is a huge success for Paul, uh, but I'm wondering if maybe when the, the soundtrack does come out, obviously the actors are going to be the ones singing, but maybe you know we'll have a, a deluxe edition with a, a bonus disc of his rough demos. Who knows? I mean, even if it's not, even if it is other people singing his songs, that's still pretty cool, you know, and that's still a, a great way to get, you know, Paul's music and everything. But anyways, I want to hear y'all's thoughts on this. I think this is awesome. I think this is a great, 
way for him to spend his golden years, you know, with theater and writing music to theater. We all know how big those soundtracks can be with, you know, soundtracks from, uh, from Broadway hit musicals uh, like Hamilton and many others. You know, the soundtracks are almost bigger than the biggest artist albums these days. So yeah, hopefully this is a great success for Paul, and yeah. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and yeah, let's, let's start talking about this. No one's really talking about it. And let's, you know, try to get this trending or something, who knows. <laughs> Anyways, hope y'all all have a blessed day. Take care. Uh, thank you. Bye-bye.